With me now is Jake Slatnik with Era, a new wireless charging solution. All right, so let's let's walk through what we have on the table, Jake. Sure, so we have uh, some of the wireless charging technologies that we've been working on for the last few years that we believe is the future of wireless charging. Okay, so normal wireless charging, you have a little pad and you put your phone on top of it and you wait a couple seconds and it starts charging. What makes uh, your technology different? Yeah, and let me just give you a little bit, just a little bit of a visual. So this is kind of a standard wireless charger and mm -hmm. you'll notice there's this kind of coil inside and there's this small hotspot. And if you're not aligned perfectly, on that hotspot, you don't receive power. So the result is, like you mentioned, people put their device on, sometimes it takes a few seconds to pick up, uh, and you think it's charging, and you wake up and your phone's dead, uh, you have to play around with it to make it work. It's not the right experience. Uh, so what we've done is built a uh, free position surface that ultimately allows you to place devices anywhere in any orientation and receive power. And we call it free power. So you don't have to like, line this thing up anymore. You don't have to like, just find a hot little sweet spot. You, you can just place a phone or headphones or anything like that that uses a Qi standard, correct? Yeah, the Qi standard. Anything that's Qi enabled can drop on our surface and it'll charge. And you can charge multiple devices simultaneously. Um, and what's really unique about this technology is uh, we just kind of showed this coil technology, right, which mm -hmm. is what everybody's doing. We've designed our own wireless power transmitting technology. It's embedded in a printed circuit board. Um, Can I grab that? Sure. All it's right. embedded in a printed circuit board, and ultimately, we can manufacture this thing in any size, in any shape, to support any number of devices. Um, our first partner who will be shipping this technology is a company called Nomad. Their device, uh, which is uh, this size, will support three devices simultaneously. Um, so, yeah, so Era is not selling these things directly. You guys are working with a lot of uh, third parties, and they're going to make their own versions of this. So you've got Nomad as your first partner. Can you tell me about other partners? Like, are you working with furniture companies? Are you working with uh, hotels? Are you working with anybody where I'm going to find this at an end table or something like that? Sure. So we are a technology provider. So we have this kind of uh, completed wireless charging solution. And we want to see this technology in a lot of different places. It's a really applicable technology for different verticals like, of course, consumer electronics, uh, but also automotive, uh, furniture, like you mentioned, the hospitality industry with restaurants and hotels. Uh, and we want to, uh, we're currently talking to uh, different companies across all those verticals. You know, I always wonder how this would work in a car because I'd imagine that unless your phone's really sticky to something, especially with that singular hotspot, it's not going to really charge. So in theory, if this was in the center console and slid down and stayed there, it'd still be able to charge. So assuming it stays in one spot, correct? And, and are you talking about existing technology or with no, our with technology? No, with yours. So like if this was the center console, like right here. Oh, sure. And it slid down. Would it charge? Yeah, anywhere on the surface you'll receive power. And so we're actually really excited about the potential for automotive uh, because in that car, in the, in the cockpit of the vehicle, to have that surface where you place multiple devices on simultaneously, but also your quality, your keys, whatever you want, it doesn't matter if there's movement, if the phones move around, if they're on the surface, they'll charge. Okay, so, you know, we were talking backstage about the idea of how much power a single one of these wireless chargers uses up when it's just trying to find a device. Can you run me through that? Yeah, so this uh, current implementation for wireless charging today, this, the standard wireless charger that sits on your nightstand, puts out incredible amounts of power. It puts out almost 5,000 milliamp hours of power a day, which is equivalent to two smartphone battery charges. So just sitting on so your every nightstand. Day, even if it's not charging anything, it's using up that much energy? Yeah, just sitting on your nightstand, it's putting out two full battery charges worth of power. Our technology has a rapid device detection algorithm that's incredibly power efficient that will only put out, uh, it, it'll put out thousands of times less. It's incredibly power efficient and it's incredibly fast. So the moment you drop a device down anywhere on the surface, it finds it instantly and starts delivering power. But our, our solution with 18 coils puts out dramatically less power than the current solution with one coil. Okay, so I've been coming to this show for a long time, and wireless power has always been a thing. They're like, okay, this is going to be the year. This is going to be the year. We finally do have this cheese standard. We have Apple on board. We have Samsung on board. We've got everybody on board. Is this really going to be everywhere, or is this going to be still a niche thing people are not going to give up their cables? So what you saw in 2013 was Samsung adopting the cheese standard. In 2017, Apple adopted the cheese standard. Ultimately, everybody walking around with a modern smartphone has a wirelessly enabled smartphone that can charge wirelessly. 
Uh, so this is absolutely a technology that's here to stay. And I think over the next few years, you're going to start to see technologies like ours with free position integrated into vehicles, furniture, and surfaces uh, all over the place. Are there any inherent benefits to charging wirelessly over just wired? The, the inherent benefit is convenience, okay. right? So the ability to just drop a device down and it works, you don't have to think about it. Uh, it just, you put it down and it works. The problem is the current implementation is fundamentally flawed in that sense because you have that small point that you need to place the device on and if you don't get on that point, it doesn't work. Uh, so what I like to say is if you're looking for convenience, use a wireless charger and our solution or free position in general is the right solution for that. And if you're looking for performance, plug it in the wall. Should we show off how this thing actually yeah, works? So, Sorry. so we have the, uh, this is a pre-production model? So this is a, a pre-production model. This uh, is a fully functioning unit, and we could drop some devices on and, and play around with that. All right, let's do that. Cool. So anywhere, though, right? So yeah, like anywhere on the surface. So you put a device down. There's my note. Uh, it's charging. Okay. Charging And then I drop the iPhone on. It's also charging. All right, so I want to mess with this. Like if I move this over, this is usually where things would fail. Wireless charging pause, and then let's see what happens. Charging wirelessly. There it goes. Charging wirelessly. Takes a couple seconds for you were talking about how Samsung takes a There's second. There's different protocols for the different devices. So if we were to take this off the surface um, and throw on the iPhone, uh, it starts charging immediately. And you can actually shift it across the surface. One of the things that we've done with this is implemented a device tracking algorithm. So as you slide it across the surface, you'll notice it remains charging. And again, remains charging. No way. Yeah. So if you keep moving this, it'll say it's, it's charging. It's like it's like glued down. That's uh, that's pretty pretty interesting there. Yeah. Because you don't have to worry about it as much. Because like I know, so I, I have a case and it's got this little thing on the back, right? So it, it kind of acts like a little pivot point. Sure. So when it it doesn't have the exact exact spot, mm -hmm. one of the reasons why I kind of gave up on wireless charging for this device because of my my case. Yeah. It looks like you wouldn't have that problem. No, we don't. So what's really interesting is once we find the device on the surface, uh, because there's such a large surface area. At, at the core, wireless charging is just a magnetic field. You transmit power through a magnetic field. And what we're doing, we find your device, and we dynamically introduce a magnetic field right below it to deliver power. Um, and with that, we can kind of create a larger field that will reach higher spaces for people with pop sockets on their phone in larger cases. What's the maximum amount of devices this, this actual size can support? So this uh, model right here can support three devices simultaneously. However, uh, we've engineered this entire system from scratch. We've written our own chipset with over 200,000 lines of code. Uh, we obviously have our own wireless, transmitting pow uh, wireless power transmitting technology in the coils. And so we can manufacture this thing in any size. We can make it the size of a table, and we can make it a lot smaller uh, for uses on a nightstand or a desk. So if you, if you introduce a fourth object on the device this, this size, what happens? So this device only supports three. So it's not going to charge a fourth because it only is engineered to support three. And the reason it only supports three is because you practically can only fit three phones on the surface. Uh, but hypothetically, we could design the same surface to support 18 devices if we wanted to. I'm just saying, but it'll continue charging the first three, and the fourth one just doesn't get it. It just won't receive power. It'll just be yeah. laid on top. Yeah, so the first three will continue to charge. The fourth one will just kind of be a foreign object that it doesn't recognize. That's That's... I want to believe this is coming out. So you've you got partners, this is, and they're going to be introducing products this year? Yeah, absolutely. So our first technology partner is a company called Nomad. This is a product they'll be introducing this year. Uh, it's the Base Station Pro. It'll be coming out in the next few months. It's in production right now. And this is the first of many different technology partnerships we'll be announcing this year. Can I take a look at that? Sure. All right, so this will be available this year. This is the Nomad. That's the Nomad Base Station Pro. So so you charge it with USB-C on the back here. That's pretty it's good. USB-C power delivery. It's, and it's, it's, very, uh, it's very nice. It's got this nice little, like, almost like leatherette style pad yeah, here. Yeah, it's a really nice leather top. It's a, a, a CNC aluminum frame. Yeah, it feels premium. Yeah, absolutely. So it's going to cost a couple bucks. What is it? <laughs> it's going to be a premium price point, as all Nomad products are. So considering this, okay, so if people are hearing this and they're like, this sounds a lot like Apple Air Power. Something that Apple wanted to do was create a pad. You could put your iPhone down your AirPods down, your watch down, and it was a big deal. They're going to come out with this, and they made it seem like it's, it's the future. And they couldn't execute on it. They eventually backed off of it after introducing it a year or two ago, and they said, okay, it's not coming out. We can't do it. How on earth did you manage to do something that Apple couldn't? Uh, so we can't really comment on what Apple, you know, on Apple could and couldn't do. Uh, what we can say is that what idea. we have works. Uh, we're really excited about it, and it's coming to market soon. 
What I also can say, though, is we share the same vision as Apple. So Apple had this vision to create a surface that you could place multiple devices on in any orientation, and they'll all receive power. Uh, and we share that same vision, and it's been our mission for the last few years to bring this to market for the benefit of the consumer. So are there any partners outside of Nomad you can talk about? There's nothing we can announce right now, nothing. but we have, we have some exciting partnerships to announce soon, and we're talking to a lot of companies in a lot of industries. So it's not Apple, is it? It's, it's not a, Apple. It's, it's Apple. I can tell you that. It's I can tell you it's not Apple. Is it going to Okay. Any other hints? We're excited about it. Okay. So what's the Nomad going to cost? Uh, so the pricing's unannounced. It's something Nomad will be announcing soon. It seems, uh, I'm going to say 200 bucks. You could, it's going to be in a, in a similar price range that the Apple Air Power solution was rumored to be at. Okay. Um, but note that this is a three device charger, and there will be two device and single device chargers as well with free power in it that gives you that nice freedom of position that will be more in line with kind of the premium pricing for single and double device chargers. You guys were on Shark Tank, correct? We were on Shark Tank, correct. <laughs> How did that go? I would imagine that that's a lot of pressure and you're showing off some technology like, hey, look, this is something that exists. And they, I, I, did they think that you were selling a product or the technology? Uh, so they understood pretty quickly that we were going to be a technology provider. Um, they're incredibly sharp investors and, and they see products all the time. So they, they knew. But it was an incredible experience. It was a lot of fun. It was great exposure. Uh, and it was a good tight way to educate uh, the American people on what free position is and kind of what the current pitfalls are in, in wireless charging. Essentially, there's like there's no dots on the nomads. Like you just put it down, it's done. You just put it down and it works. It's it's a truly effortless experience. It's convenient, which is what wireless charging is meant to be, and it's something that just gives you 100% confidence that you put your phone down and it's going to charge. And that's that's really what the experience should be. I'm just trying to think of the Shark Tank thing, man. That must have been a lot of pressure, though. Yeah, and it was, it, was, it, was, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, so a lot of people don't know, but when you go into Shark Tank, those investors, uh, the, the panel of judges like Mark Cuban, Kevin O'Leary, Robert, et cetera, they have never actually met you. They've never heard from you. So you go out there and you're, it's, you're cold. it's a cold pitch. They don't, it's, there's no cuts. There's no scripts. You go out there and you talk to them for sometimes an hour, hour and a half, and they just fire questions. Um, well, I'm glad this is a real thing because I can't wait to have this in my house. I really, really need these like on my end tables everywhere. Yeah, we're excited to get it in your hands and the hands for everybody. Right. Thanks, Jake.